The power of this model suggests that there is a different leadership style depending on who you're leading. The destructive performer, the superstar, the ambitious rookie. That management style is characterized by guidance. So this is coaching. This is ABC123. Here's how you do your job. And that this, the uh, scales here are flipped, low to high. Uh, low is on the top. And then engagement. This is the amount of time we actually engage with the teammate. And that is, again, reverse low to high. So how much coaching and guidance do we give somebody and how much time do we spend with them as they do their job function as leaders? Right? So if you look at this toxic loser, if we choose to work on this person with a bad attitude and no skills, uh, the coaching style there is micromanagement. It's the definition of micromanagement. Guidance is high. ABC, one, two, three, here's how you do your job and engagement is high. And I'm going to sit here while you do it. I'm going to tell you what to do and ride you while you're doing it. That's true micromanagement. And that's what a toxic loser, if you choose to work on them, needs as a toxic loser. You look at your superstar, what do they need? They don't need guidance because they're a superstar, they're highly skilled, and they don't need a lot of engagement because they're highly motivated and enthusiastic about their job to go out and do a great job, right? So that micromanagement is truly hands off. Now, of course, we want to engage with all of our team members and have personal relationships and give them accolades. Uh, but in terms of, from a leadership style, that superstar does not need a lot from you. Uh, the other two are the interesting ones, right? So the ambitious rookie who's not highly skilled um, but has a great positive attitude, what they need is what we call guide and let it ride. Like give them lots of coaching, give them lots of resources to go get their skills set up but they're highly motivated to go out and do a great job. So we don't need to sit there and ride, ride along with them as in high engagement level. We can have lower levels of engagement once we've coached them. The destructive performer who's highly skilled but has a bad attitude, if we choose to work on them, it's constant contact. We don't have to tell them how to do the job. We don't have to work on their skill set. We don't have to give them a lot of coaching, but we need lots of human engagement with them to get them through this period of, 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 of a bad attitude. So constant contact. So depending on who we're leading, we need to have different management styles. And that could be micromanagement, that could be hands-off, that could be constant contact, no coaching, could be guide and let it ride, depending on who we are managing. And here's the power of this model for me, is to understand our teammates don't stay in their quadrant. We move, right? We move around, we're dynamic. You could have a superstar who we promote into a new position, all of a sudden their skills are not up to speed with the new job challenges, right? So they move into that ambitious rookie. So the leadership style for their leader needs to be much more coaching and get them their skills back up. Or attitudes may drop over time, right? Move from right to left because of maybe there's something going on in their personal life. You can't help but bring that into the workplace sometimes and the attitude drops. Well, their leader needs to understand that attitude has dropped and we need to become more engaging as a leader for that person, right? So our leadership style needs to modify according to those who are leading and what they're going through. That's management style. Yes, my micromanagement is great for the right person. Yes, hands-off leadership is great in the right situation.